I mean, I'll fall <laughs> short every you day. You commit a new sin every day? Every day I fall it started. short. With a new started. sin. Or the it same started. sin. And maybe it a new started. sin. Oh, maybe the same sin. You have to repent. You got the sons of the Israelites who come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom. Alright? Right now, there's no elders out here right now, but we're dealing with the brothers. No, what I say is, what I'm trying to say is, I know that I will fall short of the glory of God. So every day, I got to ask for forgiveness of sins. And I got it. It's only by his grace that I will make it into heaven. Only by his grace. And I only, I, by, his grace? only by the grace of God that I make it into heaven please, and that he forgives me and he loves me. Right, let's That's this. love. It's love. Let me show you something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I love before him, you show him that, him that. Much. Before you show him that, you said you pray to God every day. A child makes mistakes. Hold on, hold on. But he you said you pray to God parents. every day, right? Every and you day. believe he hears your prayers. Yes. Give me what you got out. Come. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, I mean 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. right. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, uh -huh. for from this first day that thou didst see thine heart to understand and to chast chasten thyself before thy God. So, like you, so from the very first time you understood my words and began to reprove yourself, change your life based on my laws, read. Thy words were heard, and, and I come for thy words. So the Most High is answering yeah. the, the prayers of those who are reproving their life based upon his will, which is the law, statutes, and commandments. That's are right. you doing that? He's not listening to your prayers. All right, give him what you nah, got. Nah, man. Listen, he, listen. Listens, he answers my prayers listen, every listen. day because he knows I fall short. Listen, listen, Go listen. Ahead. You said by grace only, right? By grace only. By grace because only. Because I'm filthy like, sinner. Right, so, I'm blind. So look, so listen. Yeah. You, you proclaim this yourself as a filthy sinner, yeah. blood, right? Yeah. Now, what did Christ come to do? He came to be the forgiver of sin. Right, and what is sin? Sin is death. But what is, what is according to the Bible, what is sin? Get the definition. Sin is death. So let's show them. The wages of sin are death. death. Wages, you what the wages is sin. of sin is death. But what is sin? Read that. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin. Committed what? Committed sin. So whosoever committed sin. Does what? Transgressive also the law. That means you go against the law. Oh, now, right. because why? Why is it defined that way? For sin is the transgression of the law. Because sin is transgression of the law. When you transgress I something, that means you're breaking it, right? You transgress the laws of America. We all break the law. Listen, listen. You transgress the laws of America, you're breaking the laws of America, right? So if you break the law of God. Have you broke the law of God? Listen, listen. listen. Yeah. Yes, of course. And look, uh, no, and that's, that's look what I'm listen, I have to. listen, and that's why Christ came to forgive us for that's our trans that's listen, right. for our transgressions of the law. That's right. Now let me show you something. Because you that's said, great. listen, that, that's grace. Yeah. The, the, your ability to come back and repent. Now read Romans chapter yeah. 8 verse 3. Because you said we're only under grace. We, you just said that you are a sinner. That yeah. means you're continually transgressing the law of God. By your own mouth, you just said that. You just said not purposely, but listen, listen, accidentally listen. by the wages of sin. Yes, it happens. So, so you're breaking. You yes. admit that you're breaking God's law. Ah, uh, yes. Right. So then that means you're doing what? I'm sinning. You're in sin. Yeah, I am in sin. Now read but Romans 8. I no, asked for forgiveness wait, wait, listen. of that. That's what listen, Jesus listen, was sent for. Listen, because we're going to get the definition of repentance as well. Right. Read that. Romans 8 and 3. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 3. What did Christ come to do? For what the law could not do. For what the, for what the law could not do, what? And that it was weak through the flesh. Because it was weak in your flesh. Why is it weak in your flesh? Because your flesh wants to transgress God's law. Yes. You said earlier, the, the heart is deceitful above all things. So yeah, you know, it is. Right? Yeah, your, your, your heart is desperately wicked. Yeah, your flesh yeah. wants oh, to break here. God's laws. Right? Yeah. Now, why was Christ a perfect example? Because he okay. kept the laws of the Father to the end. It was his, it was his, his, his want. He, he wanted to do the Father's will. It wasn't because, ah, I need to keep these laws because I might be put to death. No, it was his, he was inherently righteous. Yeah. He, it was his desire. Like it was his desire to be righteous. Now, yeah, now continue. Enoch. The Most High right. sending his own son. Now the Most High sent his own son, what? In the likeness of sinful flesh. In the likeness of the same sinful flesh that you dwell in. Your flesh wars against your spirit constantly. Your flesh is desperately wicked. It wants to break God's laws. It wants to remain in sin. Yeah, yeah. But, your, but your inward man does not want to. Right. And Christ was sitting down in the same flesh 
you dwell in, he, he got the same temptations your flesh right. gives to you because right. your flesh wants to uh, uh, commit adultery. Right. Your flesh wants to... Yeah, uh, it's a filthy rag. Your, your flesh... <laughs> Just like it says, right. it's your, a your filthy flesh, rag. Your flesh is a hunger. Yeah, yeah that's right. Your flesh, a feels, rag. your flesh feels wrath. And Christ, Jesus, wasn't it Jesus said that listen, if on, you've me, already sinned in the mind, you, you've already sinned. And the mind sits constantly. And, and you might look at a girl and see her and be like, dang, look at her butt. You know what I mean? Now listen, and you don't mean to do it, but it just happened. You change your right, mind. Now, you know now listen, I mean? now, and you say, God, I'll never look at her butt again. Uh, now, and then another butt. Now listen. You know what I mean? Now listen. Now listen. <laughs> now listen. That, that, now that's that the, sin. listen. Now that is the point. That's why Christ came and uh, taught you the spirit yeah, of the law. Because your flesh is weak in the law. It is weak right? in the law. Now why is your flesh weak in the law? Because your inward man is not clean yet. Now, now why is now why was Christ sin? Because you just said it. Your inward man wants to commit sin. It's not clean. Right? You feel the temptations of your flesh. That's why you commit sin. That's why you transgress the law. Read on. And for sin, condemn sin in the flesh. Because Christ condemned that very same sin in the same flesh you dwell in right now. That's why it condemns you. That's why Christ condemns you. Because you who say, I cannot keep the laws, Christ kept the law perfectly in the same flesh you're in. He was the only one. Let, he wasn't the only one. No. There was other people. Enoch, men. yeah, okay. Give me, there was Enoch. Give me, Joe. Yeah, give me, Joe. Give me, so yeah. Like, real quick, Wait a minute, you're right. There was the hey, You said you can't keep the laws, right? Hey, bring this out for the brother real quick. God. God. God, it's the book of Luke. For context, we're going to start at verse 5. Luke chapter 1 and verse 5. There were a couple beloved by God. That, there, that was, take, there, there was, was there was in the day of Herod, the king of Judah, Judea, a Lord certain well. priest named Zechariah, Hold that. of the course of Abijah and his wife of, was of the daughters of Aaron, uh, and her name was Elizabeth. Uh -huh. And they were both righteous before God, uh -huh. walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord hey, blameless. Hey, come on, let's set, let's set it up. What? Let's set it up. Are you over here? What? Hey, come, come this way. Okay, we got it. Now, now, was, now, was, that, was, that, was, that, was that in the Immaculate Conception too? No, that was oh. not black. Oh, but, but they were able to do it though, right? Okay. At that particular moment, yes. Why well, you can't do it? Come on. Now, they were what? They were blameless, right? Yeah, because a lot of the blind are still leading the blind. Well, now listen, now listen. Christ, Christ was that light that was sent. Was, was not Christ the light sent to the world? Yes. So Christ was that light that was sent to the world, correct? So because that light was shown to you, right? Christ being that perfect example of how to walk in the law righteously and perfectly, and perfectly right? I got you. Hey, Get two more seconds. Hey, it's five, hey this is five points, man. Yeah. You got a labor to teach out. Yeah. Right. I'm just trying to explain to him right, listen, that, brother, that listen. God loves me by grace. Listen, brother, listen. Listen. That I do fall short. Listen, brother. And I acknowledge it. And I feel guilty. I ask you for this. But wanna, I truly mean that. We, we want to share something with you, right? Because yeah. we're going to show you how you know you truly want forgiveness, right? Because we're going to, we still have yet to show you okay, what, what repentance is, right? Okay. Yes. But do the repentance. let me show you why Christ condemns you. Christ condemns you because you saying you are blind, you recognize that you are blind, right? I do. Now Christ was the light sent to the world. Yes. And he was the example, the perfect example yes. of how to keep God's laws. How perfect. long would it oh, learn? Listen, how long would it take listen. to learn all that brother, perfection? Brother, one, look, look, listen, perfected. listen, one thing at a time. All okay. right? Go ahead. Let's do it in order. Yes. Now Christ being that perfect sacrifice, go to Romans chapter 8, verse 4. <laughs> Christ being that perfect sacrifice, who was sent down in the same sinful flesh as you. Yes. He felt temptation, just like you. Just like me. Right? Yes. He was perfect. Just like me. He was perfect. But he wasn't. Now, yeah. now look. He was, now look. Was. Now he condemned sin in that same flesh as you. Now read verse 4. God, it's the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 4. Uh -huh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Now he did that. Why? Who walked. Oh, read something from the top. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. So that the righteousness of the law would be fulfilled in you. How is the righteousness of the law fulfilled in you? I'm still we, learning. The law, the righteousness of the law is fulfilled in you when it is your desire to keep God's law. Mm -hmm. When you are inherently righteous. That's why uh, the book of Hebrews says in that time, in that day, the laws will be written on our inward parts and we shall no longer have to teach our neighbor. Yeah. I will no longer have to tell my brother 
Hey, look, man. You cannot lust after your neighbor's wife. Right. I'll no longer have to teach my brothers. Look, man. You need to forgive your brother in, in your heart, man. You cannot hold on to grudge and hate your brother I in your heart. I agree with listen, that. Listen, listen. I, I will no longer have to teach those push. things. Yeah, Why? Because we will inherently be hey, righteous. Can you come on this side yeah. of the sign, please? Come on this side. Try not to step on the signs, beloved. Yeah, I got you. Thank right? you, bro. Yeah, very we will. Beloved. We will inherently That's keep the law. Yeah. Now we will be like Christ. That's how Christ is exalted within you. That's how you you exalt Christ. You exalt Christ when you follow after His example. Because the example He set for you was to be perfect and to and to fulfill the law on the inward part as well. It has to be your desire to keep the law, brother. Continue. Who walk not after the flesh. Who walk not after the flesh. The same simple flesh that, that Christ was in. That same perfect example, right? He didn't go after his flesh. When Satan tempted him in the wilderness after 40 days and 40 nights, right? Of, 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 of fasting. And he was weakened and hungered. Satan came to him and tempted him, right? But how did, what did Yahweh Shai do? Listen, what did Yahweh Shai do? Yahweh Shai Combating him with the scriptures, man, with the word of God. I believe they said, turn the, if you be the son of God, turn this turn this rock into bread. Yeah. Yeah. That is, is, is as it is written. Yeah. Y'all should not live by bread alone. Right. Y'all right. shall refer to the scriptures, man. Why? Because the scriptures is the spirit. Right? The word of God is life. John 6 63. How you doing, family? The words which I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. How you doing, family? Hey, listen to this real quick. Wait a minute. So I got a flock one. calling me. One of my sheep is calling me. Hey, listen, listen. Go ahead. Hey, I'll listen. give you one more you, second. You, you want to hear the word? You are, yeah. you are a sheep of your man. Yeah, I he hear He said, my sheep hear my voice. So yeah, listen. listen to this, right? Now, the perfect example, Christ came in the same simple flesh as you. That's why he condemns you. Because the same simple flesh that he had to resist, he... You have to resist as well, brother. That's how you are made perfect, man. Right? Read that verse 4 again. God, verse 4. That the righteousness of the law uh -huh. might be fulfilled in us. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in you. Mm -hmm. So that you're inherently righteous. It's your desire to keep the laws of God. The law is being written on your inward parts, right? Never look at another booty again. That's the more important part of this story. Not even in your mind. Hey, hey, hey. Don't even do it. Don't even think it. Don't. Now, no filthy thought to even come into the mind. Don't hey, Kyle. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Israel. Shalom. <laughs> hey, uh, Shah Shabbat, Shalom. Shah Shabbat. Shah Shabbat. Hey, yo, we are the Sons of Thunder right. Israelites. We come yeah. out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this nation and to wake our brothers and sisters up. Right. The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Let them know that their true nationality is the children of the Most High God. All right. The Hebrew Israelites. Okay, that's right. All right. Yeah, I'll even eat with you. I see you was dealing with a brother. And I, I think we talked to that brother like a we week did. or two ago. We did. We did. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is that you was uh, what y'all was talking about. But what what he's suffering from is denial, right? And, and that's why Romans chapter eight verse three is important because it says Christ condemned sin in the same flesh as us, the same flesh we dwell in, the same flesh that wars against our spirit. Uh -huh. Christ. Christ kept, Christ endured until the end end. He, he felt the same temptations as us, but he endured until the end. He was faithful until the end. And that's why Christ condemns the world. Because he was that light that was sent to the world to show you the ways which you should walk in. But because you reject that knowledge, you reject that wisdom and that nurture, your, your, your works are unprofitable, right? Yeah, that's a problem. A lot, of us, a lot of us don't realize who Christ is, man. Don't realize our own hope. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't realize that we have hope. Mm -hmm. You know, we was talking about a, about a little about this last night, mm -hmm. about the blindness of our people. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? A lot of us are lost in this sauce, man. Hey, get uh, and it's part of the curses. Get um, Deuteronomy 28, 28. Uh, book get, of get, get that. Read that. God, it's book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness. An astonishment of heart. Hey man, that madness and that blindness is you being lost. That's right. Man, we are literally in a place where there's darkness surrounding us everywhere. Uh-huh. And the only light that we have is Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. That's right. It's wisdom that comes from the most high God. That's right. How y'all doing, family? Peace, peace. Alright? Alright. Alright. And it's nice to see a father working with his with his daughter, man, or a grandchild. Uh, That's awesome. 
you know? So many of us are, are lost and they can't, you know what I'm saying, participate in that, in that, in that blessing right. that the Most High has given unto you, man. Right. Being able to be a father or a grandfather to a child. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a man should find joy in his children, man. I don't want you to teach us, man, you rich. When you have when you have your child, man, we you have the love of a child, man, you rich. You rich. Both you, man. But, but according to these curses, man, because we choose not to follow the ways of the Most High, man, we, we get lost. You got kids out here that hate their parents. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. God. No, no family. Family is your wealth. Hey, what's going on, bro? Right. What up, bro? How you doing? Like I was saying, family is your wealth. Right. Right? Right. Yeah. You, you a father. Yeah. That's a that's a sad feeling when your kids don't have respect and love for you. Yeah. And that's how you how we feel about us. Time. Time. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh what's that, Jeremiah 3? Show that. Let's kick, let's, 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 let's just kick that. God. It's book of Jeremiah. Chapter 3. Is it 24? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2 and verse 32. It, it was a 30 involved in a, in a 2. Read. And it reads, can a maid forget her ornaments? So the ornaments of a maid is like, you know, uh -huh. when you get married, what you got? You got to have something new, right. something, something blue. Something blue, something borrowed. Yeah. 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 Those are the ornaments for the maid, you know what I'm saying? She right. got her tiara. Right. Uh-huh. She got her necklace, her mother's ring. Uh-huh. What you, they do in the customs? Usually it's a father giving them giving them away. The Jump father. the broom, throw the rice. They got the broom. The rice is ready. Hey, the flower girl got the flowers ready. Right, right. Uh -huh. Now you forget any of that, Eve is going insane. Right. You done forgot my ornaments. Right. Now look at Satan. But we having a good time. Right. 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 I say it again, this is the worst street to do anything on. How you doing, sister? Come in the word. All right. She says she all right. All right. She would have liked what we talking about. Right. Right. She don't even know that. Go ahead, man. All right. Go, man. Whoever you looking for, they done dead already. All right. <laughs> Twice. What we was talking about? God. Uh, you were talking about children, love, love of having our children. Yeah, yeah. So, so now, you, you can't forget none of them ornaments, man. Right, read, right. read it again. This book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, and verse 32. Can a man forget her ornaments? Or a bride, her attire? Hey. Uh, Haran, what happened you forget that dress? Uh, oh, man, you're going to hear it. So, you're going to hear it. You're going to hear it. She's going to leave you. Yeah, she... <laughs> hey, I, I was in one wedding in the world, and... The woman late. The woman was mad that we we you know we was the bridegroom, the groomsmen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we had to protect the dress. That was the custom. They brought the dress to our room and we had to keep it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what custom is that's, that. That's, yeah. Yeah, was that is that the rules? I never had. I never heard that. The, one. the groom we the groom and his mates we had to keep the dress. Keep the no, I never heard that one. So we hung the dress up in the extra room. So one of the bridesmaids comes in and she's like, "What y'all doing?" No! And she took the dress down and laid it on the bed. So we had one less bed in the room. Because there was like three of us in the same room. Uh -huh. So damn, the dress got its own bed? Right. <laughs> I'm sleeping on the couch. I paid it for the room. <laughs> but it was that serious That's for the crazy. dress, man. Yeah. Right. See, a bride ain't gonna forget her attire, man. Right. Read on. Yet, my people have forgotten me days without number. Uh -huh. But the Israelites forgot Yahweh days without number. That's how he feel. Man, like that. That's cold. He feel right. like his children, yeah, don't even remember or think about me, man. Right. But you remember these earthly ornaments and things. Right. But I'm your God. I made you. I gave you everything. You don't remember me? Right. That's how y'all be making the Lord feel. That's how, you know? And as a father, you would hate to feel like that. Your kids don't call you. God. And man, you, you know, my aunt, when she got old, she had a um, liver failure before she passed. What you call that? Uh, she had dialysis for a couple days. So, right. But when your liver failed, renal failure. Renal failure, okay. You know, I love my aunt too. She used to feed me peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> and she only whooped me one time. I was bad though. <laughs> she, I was chasing, she had a dog. And I was, I kept pestering the dog and I chased the dog under the bed. And I, and I was, I was tor torturing the dog. She whooped me for that. Like, I told you to stop. <laughs> Cause the dog, you know. It was his house, her house. Uh -huh. Dog name was Kizzy, a big fat black poodle. Good. 
Oh yeah, she loved on me after and everything. Yeah. Said, now why you make me do that, Joe? Cause she's old school from Alabama. Right. You know, but when she had lost her kidney function, they put her into a hospice. Hospice? Hospice. hospice. Like a home? Yeah, yeah, hospice. Uh, and yo, my, as soon as my cousin was like, all right, we're going to leave, see you later, we showed up like a, hey, y'all sisters come here to work. We showed up like an hour later, right? You know what I'm saying? We showed up an hour later to check on her. And see that? You're supposed to come be with us. That's why you. That's why that happened. Look, now the sister, sister trip on the side of they ain't got no clothes on, it's 20 right. degrees out. Yeah. Right. They cold? What they looking for? You understand? Right. Yeah. Yeah. They working, uh, most likely. But look, we went to go check on my aunt, man. They had my aunt jacked up in the bed with food all over her face. Man. Mm. And why? Because we had to, her children had to put her where somebody else could take care of her. But it's like we forgot about her. I couldn't take it, so I go in there. I'm screaming, I'm walking up down. Yo, come fix my aunt, man. And then my cousin came back and seeing how they was treating her, we took her out of hospice that same day. Uh -huh. And you know, and unfortunately she passed away in the house. You understand? But that's 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 because you don't forget your loved ones, man. Right. But we forget the most high when we go into wickedness. You don't keep a feast day, it's like forgetting the Lord. Right, right. You know? That's crazy. He said days without number. I can't even count the days y'all forgot me. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. That's dirty, man. That is, that is, that is. The children is supposed to be uh, uh, the helpmate for, for their parents, man. They're supposed right. to be there for their parents. Right. We're supposed to be there for the most high, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Pushing his word, ruling in righteousness. Because he, he sent us up to rule. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that right. was his plan. That was his plan. He sent us up to rule the earth. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, preset? Now that's heavy. Y'all be moving on from points. What he said, it like y'all be moving on. What he said is important. Yeah, I got. We we set up to root. He made us to root his place. That's right. That's Why right. Let's talk about that. You want to go get, on? Let's, let's get let's get Deuteronomy seventy six. Let's 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 show, let's show, let's show, let's show us let's show us let's show us let's show us what he told us in the law on how we should be. You know you know what I'm saying? Yo, in 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 second address uh, uh, seven. He, he tells us also, you get Deuteronomy 7 6? Right. You know what I want in 2nd chapter 7. Go ahead, read that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people yo, he unto himself. Yo, he chose you to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yo, this is what we're supposed to be, man. This is what we're supposed to be. We bring this out a lot when we're dealing with uh, somebody brand new to this truth, to this word. But the fact of the matter is that we got to realize, we talked about this this morning, the God, the God shit. Right. We have a Godhood that's in us, man. We can, we are supposed to be gods in this earth. Right. Get that in Psalms, um, 82. Yeah, that's why Moses said, do not revile the gods. People are supposed to respect us, man. That's right. right. Because we set up for a leadership position. Right. They're not supposed to get mad when we lead. Right. <laughs> we was talking about that on class last night. Right. Uh, God. You, know, you know, when it's time to lay down some admonition, brothers hate you. But that you're not supposed to revile the gods, man. Yeah. Right. You know, they ain't thinking like that. Uh, right. 